a very good morning dear students so we have started with the moment theorem method so last class uh, we have discussed the application part of moment theorem method the theorems associated with the moment theorem method and uh, proof of those theorems correct right? and even we have solved one uh, simple cantilever problem subjected to point load at the free end okay just to brief about uh, the theorems once again so there are two theorems with respect to moment area method that is moment area theorem 1 that is for slope and moment area theorem that is for deflection the moment area theorem 1 says the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve must be equal to the area of m by er diagram between those two points okay so here uh, let us consider two points as a and b the change in slope between those two points so theta b minus theta a is equal to area of m by er diagram between a and b so theta that is slope is equal to integration of m by er into dx correct that is moment area theorem one for slope okay you need to remember this the there should be two points to calculate any slope at a particular point one will be known and one more will be usually unknown okay then moment area theorem 2 it is for deflection so what moment area theorem 2 says the tangential deviation of any point with respect to the tangent drawn at other point once again the tangential deviation of a point on the elastic curve with respect to tangent drawn at the other point is equal to moment of m by er diagram between those two points and the moment is taken about the point where the deflection is required so here suppose if you are calculating the deflection at point b okay the deviation of point b okay delta b is equal to in other notation tba what is this t indicates tangential deviation of point b the first subscript indicates where the deflection is calculated t b the tangential deviation of point b with respect to what the tangent drawn at a that is second subscript the first subscript for deflection point the second subscript uh, subscript for the tangent drawn okay the tangent drawn at a the deflection measured at point b the tangential deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a what it is it is moment of m by er diagram between those two points and the moment is taken about point b where the deflection is required about the point b the first subscript okay so this is second theorem okay in general deflection delta is equal to integration of m by ei into x into dx so m by ei it is nothing but area of bending moment diagram into x x is what perpendicular distance okay area into perpendicular distance divided by ei okay so these are the sum of the figures uh, one should be knowing while uh, dealing with moment area method and also even with uh, conjugate b method this moment area method and uh, conjugate b methods are called as semi-graphical methods so what exactly this semi-graphical methods means so this particular methods will be using this graphical representation of diagrams that is nothing but m by a diagrams nothing but moment diagrams and also the calculation part with respect to moment area theorem 1 and moment area theorem 2 okay for that reason they are called as semi-graphical methods okay so this is entirely depends on these bending moment diagrams and these two theorems okay so you should be knowing these areas of these bending moment diagrams when you solve a particular problem with respect to determinate beams suppose if you consider a cantilever beam subjected to point load okay you might be getting the bending moment diagram something like this triangle okay so what is the area of this triangle it is half into base into height okay where the cz will be of this particular triangle so here somewhere here from maximum it is one third of base and from minimum it is two, uh, two third of base why this uh, center of gravity of this particular figure is required 
okay so in moment era theorem 2 when you calculate the deflection so it says moment of m by e r diagram okay so we require the perpendicular distance about any one particular point correct so we will be assuming this entire area is acting at the cz of the figure okay from that the perpendicular distance either at b or else at at b okay so for that reason this cz is required so similarly if you come to this second figure then it is a cantilever beam subjected to udl okay so then the variation of this bending moment diagram it is not a linear like this so it will be something parabolic so i can call this for your understanding purpose a parabolic triangle a parabolic triangle you will be getting for a cantilever beam subjected to udl okay the moment goes on gradually decreases from this point to this point okay from this point to this point it goes on increases okay where the fixed end is there there it is maximum okay so a what is the area area is equal to one third of base into height this is half into base into height this is one third of base into height where the cz somewhere here from maximum it is one fourth of base and from minimum it is three fourth of base so one more figure this is for simply supported beam subjected to udl okay half portion okay so if it is entire thing then the figure continues like this okay so what is the area of this it is two, two third of base into height and where the cz will be somewhere here from maximum it is three eighth of base and from minimum it is five eighth of base okay so this figure that is again a triangle so this is a simply supported beam subjected to point load that point load is acting at a distance a and b from both the supports if that is the case then this might be the bending moment diagram and cz will be somewhere here so from point a it is l plus a by 3 from this end it is l plus b by 3 so somewhere here so if you consider the entire thing as a one triangle okay area is half into base into height so please uh, write down these figures and areas and cz's somewhere in one uh, blank sheet such that when we'll be solving the problem these figures will be useful okay you should be knowing these values perfectly before starting into the solving the problem okay so let us solve uh, one problem with respect to cantilever beam subjected to two point loads okay the statement is calculate slope and deflection at free end using moment area method okay calculate slope and deflection at free end using moment area method so what is free end and what is fixed end here so where the fixed support is provided that is fixed end so where in uh, it is fully free that is at the here this is point c is called as free end in between point a and point c it is intermediate point okay so this is the free end so the last point of the beam the fixed end where the fixed support is provided so they are asking us to find what is theta c and what is delta c slope at point c and deflection at point c correct so even they have given ea is constant so here we will be drawing the m by ea diagram correct so we require the ea what is this ea where e is angst modulus of velocity i is moment of inertia so these are called as elastic constants okay the product of e and i is called as flexural rigidity okay so they have given here in this problem it is constant it is not varying okay so if they have mentioned something here 2i 3i then we need to consider them appropriately here they have given it is constant need not to worry about that okay so now to go ahead with the problem so first we'll solve the problem with respect to slope okay what is theta c okay so according to moment area theorem 1 the change in slope between any two points theta b minus theta is equal to area of m by a diagram between a and b correct so we want the elastic curve first correct so how the elastic curve will be 
so it will be something like this what is elastic curve it is just bent shape it is the bent shape assumed okay it is an imaginary curve okay due to this problem how exactly it is going to bend okay so here if i show the points on the elastic curve this is point a and this is point b okay so the change in slope between two points on the elastic curve is equal to area of m by a diagram according to moment error theorem one now i need to find the slopes by drawing the tangents if i draw the tangent at a it will be something like this okay this is the tangent at a okay if i draw the tangent at b so it will be something like this okay so this is tangent at b the change in slope that is tangent at a and tangent at b here this is theta c correct so this is tangent at c okay point c and the slope between these two tangents is theta c is that okay so now what is the slope at a so this line is horizontal okay so this line is horizontal at fixed end always at fixed end slope will be zero means here theta a will be zero okay keep it in mind because there is no deflection exactly at point a there is no deflection as we go from point a to the free end the deflection goes on increases even the slope goes on increases the maximum slope will be at point c at the free end even the maximum deflection will be at point c at the free end in in cantilever beam the slope will be maximum and the deflection will be maximum exactly at the free end okay keep it in mind again so this is slope at a is zero so we are finding theta c now okay so how to uh, read this angle the angle made by the tangent at c with respect to tangent drawn at a t c a in general the uh, reading of this angle okay so now we'll draw the bending moment diagram okay how the bending moment diagram will be so we need to find the moment at c moment at b and moment at a correct so these are the points so in fixed beam so that is uh, not fixed beam. the in cantilever beam so exactly at the fixed end the moment is maximum correct so exactly at the fixed end how many reactions at fixed end so vertical reaction horizontal reaction and even the moment so it is resisting the moment means so the beam will not be moving in vertical direction it will not be moving in horizontal direction even it is restrained in the rotation correct it cannot rotate also okay so which means their moment exists okay so if you consider simply supported beam or uh, roller support or hinge support then here at these supports it is free to rotate okay moment is not resisted here but here in fixed end the moment is resisted so in cantilever beam exactly at the fixed support the moment is maximum so from here to here it goes on increases correct so exactly at point c so here what is the moment it is zero why what is moment force into perpendicular distance so here at c this is force but it is acting exactly at point c so there is no perpendicular distance moment at c is zero at the free end so from point c to point b when you come here okay so what is the moment so moment at b is 10 into so something it is you are cutting a section here cutting right hand side okay 10 into 2 is the moment so i hope you know the sign convention 
uh, with respect to strength of material when you cut a section from rightwards if it is anti clockwise cut a section from leftwards if it is clockwise positive okay you are taking moment at b from rightwards this moment is making clockwise if you keep it here the load is applied so it is rotating clockwise correct so 10 into 2 it is clockwise but according to the sign convention if it is anti clockwise then it is positive since it is clockwise so this is minus so it is minus 20 kilo newton meter okay then again exactly at point b due to 20 then again there is no perpendicular distance it is zero so at point a what is the moment so there are two concentrated loads due to 10 what is the moment 10 into perpendicular distance about a this line so total is 3.5 plus due to 20 20 into 1.5 moment about this point due to 20 perpendicular distance 20 into 1.5 but both the moments are making clockwise but according to this sign convention if it is anti-clockwise then it is positive correct so now since it is clockwise it is negative so if you simplify this you will be getting 65 kilo newton meter okay so if i draw this the bending moment diagram so from point c to point b so variation so i will say the point b is here point a is here let us show the points a b c from here to here it is straight line linear variation since the concentrated load is acting again from here to here it is linear variation so this diagram is very much important so usually students will draw from point c to point a a straight line like this but it is not a straight line okay always keep it in mind it is not a straight line so from here to here it is different from here to here it is different it is not a straight line okay so here what is the moment just now we have calculated moment at b is 20 so this is 20 so here what is the moment at a it is 65 65 okay so now if you find the area according to moment area theorem 1 so what it says moment area theorem 1 the change in slope between a two points so we are calculating at point c so theta c minus the tangent on at a from this this is tangent on at a at the tangent at c okay so theta c minus theta a is equal to area of m by ea diagram between a and c according to moment area theorem 1 so theta a is 0 so now we need to find between a and c what are the area okay so if you this see this figure so which type of figure it is and what will be the area okay so as you are aware about these standard figures so it's better if you can convert in these standard figures okay so here if i draw a line that is a moment so if i consider only this it is like a triangle correct i know what is the area of triangle then again if i come to this okay so this is what this is a trapezoidal okay so if you know the area of trapezoidal it's good or else it's better if you make it one rectangle and one triangle so this one rectangle and this one triangle so however you know the values this is height is 20 okay so if i split into rectangle and triangle this will be 20 correct so the total height is 65 so left is what this 20 is gone remaining is 45 correct so we want the m by ei diagram so always do not forget to write 65 by ei so this is divided by ei so this is divided by ei and even this is divided by ei correct now i can find the areas easily because these are standard figures 
triangle rectangle square if you convert something like that you can find the areas easily okay so here total how many figures are there so this is one this is one and this is one more total three figures i need to calculate the area of three figures so what i'm calculating the slope at point c so what it is area of m by a diagram between a and c correct so what are the areas three areas so area one plus area two plus area three so area one what is the area of this triangle half into base what is the base it is two meters from a to b it is 1.5 meters correct base is two meters and height it is 20 by ei correct then similarly plus area of this second figure it is base is 1.5 and height it is 20 by yeah, area of rectangle plus area of this triangle again half into base is 1.5 into height is 45 by EI yeah, total correct half into base into height okay so area 1 area 2 and area 3 I need to calculate these all the areas if you simplify this you will be getting minus 83.75 divided by ei why this is minus so these all moment values are negative so this is negative diagram this is negative diagram even this is negative diagram correct negative 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 so this entire thing it is negative okay so this is minus 83.75 divided by yeah radians okay the unit of slope it is radians okay is that clear so according to moment era theorem 1 theta c minus theta a so then area between a and c three figures then you will be getting 83.75 by ei okay suppose here they have asked only theta c if you want to find theta b okay so what it will be theta b okay same moment era theorem one so if i write it here again according to moment era theorem one itself okay i will write it here so according to moment area theorem one that is now i am finding theta b here it is not asked if it is asked so theta b minus theta a is equal to it is area of m by a diagram between only a and b okay so here they have asked at b so somewhere point on the elastic curve is here so if i draw a line tangent it is something like this this is theta b if they are asked okay so theta a is zero then theta b is equal to area of m by a diagram between a and b which are the figures i need to consider so i will not consider this figure i will be consider a to b which are the figures this is one figure and this is one more figure only i will be considering these two figures so what is the area of this so area of this rectangle base 1.5 into height is 20 by ei then plus what is the area of this half into base is 1.5 into height is 45 by ei okay so this entire diagram is negative so if you simplify this so you will be you will be getting some value so what is that value so this is minus 83 point something half into base into height 20 minus 20 so you will be getting 63.75 by 
ei okay radians that is theta b is that okay so similarly so now i need to find delta c so what is that delta c so here that is according to moment area theorem 2 okay according to moment area theorem 2 delta c in other words one more notation t c a tangential deviation of point c on the elastic curve from the tangent drawn at a so this is what we are finding now okay this is delta c tangential deviation of point c on the elastic curve from the tangent drawn at a from here to here this is the deviation delta c nothing but t c a okay so you are finding this so how to go ahead with this you know the moment statement sorry the theorem statement moment of m by ei diagram between a and c and where the moment is taken move and moment is taken about point c where the deflection is required here the deflection is required at c so the tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent drawn at a and the moment is taken about the point c where the deflection you are finding is that okay so now so we need to i will start it here delta c okay so moment of m by a diagram between a and c which are the diagrams total three diagrams okay so i need to take the moment about c point so here the c point is here so what i have discussed so each figure is having the cz each area is assumed to acting at the cz cz will be somewhere here from here to here i want this distance so cz will be somewhere here for this rectangle from here to here this distance for this triangle from here to here this distance i require these perpendicular distance the area of each figure is assumed to acting at the cz of that particular figure and from that the perpendicular distance okay load into perpendicular distance load into perpendicular distance load into perpendicular distance the where the load is acting that is at the cz that is nothing but the area so you know the standard figures so first one is triangle something like this so from minimum position it is two third of base so now it is two third of base is how much correct two third of two so this is the perpendicular distance for this figure so here it is rectangle so rectangle cz will be exactly at the center what is the base here 1.5 so from here to here it is how much 1.5 divided by 2 that is 0.75 from here to here it is 0.75 from here to here it is 2 so i want from here to here so it is 2 plus 1.5 divided by 2 that is nothing but 2.75 ultimately so again for this from here to here it is 2 the figure is something like this triangle again for zero position from here to here it is again two third of base it is 1.5 so this is 2 meters from here to here it is 2 meters from here to this cz from here to this cz it is two third of base is 1.5 okay so now if you write it here so what is that area into distance area into perpendicular distance area into perpendicular distance deflection okay so delta c first area what is that area half into base is two meters into height is 20 by ei this is the area into distance it is two third of two this is one figure area one then this rectangle area what is that rectangle area base 1.5 into height 20 by ei what is the distance about point c this entire thing how much is that 
टू प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइड बाय टू देन वन मोर फिगर व्हाट इज दैट दिस ट्रायंगल व्हाट इज द एरिया हाफ बेस इज वन पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव बेस इज वन पॉइंट फाइव इनटू हाइट इज दिस फोर्टी फाइव बाय ईआर and distance from here to here is 2 from here to here it is 2 third of 1.5 so it is 2 plus 2 third of 1.5 i want from here to here total okay so this is the way how we will calculate this entire diagram will be negative so why it will be negative the moment diagrams are negative if you simplify this you will be getting around 210.41 divided by EI meters deflection in meters this is delta C okay I hope it is clear okay similarly okay similarly if you want to find delta B okay that is nothing but TBA tangential deviation of point B with respect to tangent drawn at A correct so similarly like this what is this moment of M by EI diagram between only A and B and where the moment is taken moment is taken about I will write only this moment is taken about point B where the deflection is required the first subscript okay so how to calculate this so which are the areas in A and B only two areas I will not be considering this okay this area and this area what is the area of this rectangle base is 1.5 into height is 20 by EI correct this into perpendicular distance what is the perpendicular distance about point b point b is here you are taking moment about b from here to here what is this at the center cz will be at the center 1.5 divided by 2 okay plus one more figure that is triangle half into base is 1.5 into height is 45 by ei into perpendicular distance about point B so from here to here only up to point B what is that two third of one base that is 1.5 if you the total entire figure will be negative okay fine the bending moment diagram is negative so you will be getting around minus 56.25 divided by EI meters okay so this is how you will be calculating slope and deflection using moment area method okay i hope it is clear please go through once again so it will be clear okay just to discuss the same problem okay so just to discuss the same problem if ei is changing sometimes okay the same problem i will be considering okay so this is 20 kilo newton this is 10 kilo newton so this is 1.5 meters this is 2.5 meters okay if they have given okay Young's modulus is same and moment of inertia that is the cross section of a particular beam if it is changing so let us say here it is 2i and here it is i okay from point a to point B it is 2i from point B to C it is I so it will be given something like this or else sometimes they might give like this also from here to here it is like this from here to here it is like this this is 2i and this is I this is fixed and a this is point b this is point c the diagram will be given like this or the diagram will be given like this so if moment of inertia is changing then how to take care of this moment of inertia nothing just what we are drawing so we are drawing m by ER diagram so the moment diagram 
okay how the moment diagram what is the moment at c moment at c is zero correct from here to here moment at b what is moment at b 10 into 2 it is 20 negative negative correct so here at point b here at point a here at point c so here zero from here to here it is 20 so this is 20 then moment at c here what is this sorry moment at a what is this 10 into 3.5 plus 20 into 1.5 10 into total 3.5 plus 20 into 1.5 how much you are getting it is 65 65 right yes 65 this is kilonewton meter this is kilonewton meter value is negative correct negative diagram then so you will be drawing this something like this it is not a straight line so it is different then you have split into two figures something like this correct so this is separate and this is separate okay so now i will be drawing the m by ei diagram so ultimately what we want we want m by ei diagram okay so here the moment at b is 20 so b to c the moment of inertia is only i it is constant b to c exactly at b so it is changes also 2i okay from a to b it is 2i from b to c it is i but exactly at point b it is 2i and also it is i here so if i consider from b to this side it is 2i if I consider from point B, this side it is I. Right hand side it is I. Left hand it is 2I. So this I will be writing like this. 20 is the moment divided by I is constant. Only EI. So same exactly the same line. I will be writing this side. It is 20 divided by I is 2EI. Left hand side it is 2EI. Right hand side it is I. 20 by 2EI. So this triangle is of height how much 20 by 2 ei only correct because it is 2i it is constant so total is 65 divided by what is the moment of inertia at this point a it is 2i 65 by 2 ei so 20 by 2 ei is gone so what is the remaining value that is 45 by 2 ei 45 by 2 EI so these are the figures now so if you want to find the slope at C okay so according to moment area theorem 1 that is theta C minus theta A is equal to area of M by EI diagram between A and C correct so theta a is 0 so area of m by a diagram between a and c which are the diagrams these three diagrams so this diagram area is half into base is 2 meters into height is 20 by ei i will be writing 20 by ei so these diagrams are negative correct according to sign convention then plus area of this it is i will be writing base is 1.5 into height is 20 by 2 ei okay now it is 20 by 2 ei height is 20 by 2 ei 20 by 2 ei plus again this half into base is 1.5 into height is 45 by 2 ei correct so simplify this you will be getting what is the value of theta c radians okay this is how you need to take care if moment of inertia is changing okay i hope it is clear okay if the value of i is changing you need to do like this okay then one more thing uh, the value of e and i if they have given in the problem okay and then how to take care so the standard value of e should be in 
किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर सो वॉट एवर द वैल्यू दे हैव गिवन इन द एग्जामिनेशन द ई वैल्यू यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट इन टू किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर देन मूमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया शुड बी ऑलवेज इन मीटर एस टू फोर ओके कन्वर्ट इन टू मीटर एस टू फोर सो द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू ई आई दैट इज ई इज इन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर एंड आई इन मीटर एस टू फोर सो द प्रोडक्ट ई आई शुड बी इन ऑलवेज किलो न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वेर ओके सो कीप इट इन माइंड दिस सो वेन एवर इफ यू कम अक्रॉस मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एंड द एंग्स मॉडलस वैल्यू इज गिवन सो यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट इन टू द स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यूज ओके सो वॉट आर द स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यूज E should be in किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर एंड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया शुड बी इन मीटर एस टू फोर सच दैट ई आई दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एंग्स मॉडलस एंड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया दैट इज नथिंग बट फ्लेक्जरल रिजिडिटी दैट फ्लेक्जरल रिजिडिटी शुड बी इन किलो न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वेर ऑलवेज ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल okay so in the examination they have given some values okay so let us uh, consider e if e is given as 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square and i is given 15 into 10 power 6 mm raised to 4 okay so e is 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square and i is 15 into 10 power 6 mm raised to 4 so if they have given something like this you will be calculating slope and deflection in terms of ei suppose theta c you have calculated some value divided by ei then delta you have calculated some value divided by ei okay but we need to calculate what is this ei and we need to again substitute it here and calculate theta c and delta okay so if that is the case so just now we have discussed e should be in kilo newton per meter square and i should be in meter is to 4 the product ei should be in kilo newton meter square okay so here Newton and mm raised to four. Newton per mm square and mm raised to four they have given. So we need to convert into this now. Ei, okay, elastic constants, Young's modulus and moment of inertia. The flux zero should it be in this standard unit. So I hope you know it. One kilo newton is equal to how many newtons? Thousand newtons. Nothing but ten raised to three. Newtons. One meter is equal to how many millimeters? Thousand millimeters. Nothing but ten raised to three. Okay, millimeters. Ten raised to three newton. Ten raised to three millimeters. Okay. So when you convert from higher to lower, you will be multiplying. When you convert from lower to higher, you will be dividing. okay so when you convert from higher to lower you will be multiplying and when you convert from lower value to higher value you will be dividing okay so here newton 2 kilo newton so what we need to convert they have given in newton 2 kilo newton which is higher this is higher so what is this newton that is lower to convert from lower to higher we need to divide okay so first i will be calculating ei so whatever the value they have given e is 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square into i is 15 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 correct so now if i multiply this 15 to the 30 This is ten raised to five. This is ten raised to six. Total it will be ten raised to eleven. This is mm square. This is mm raised to 
4 what is left 2 is left here so this product will be Newton mm square EI you are getting this value that is 30 into 10 days to 11 Newton mm square EI should be in kilonewton meter square so now we need to convert Newton to kilonewton then millimeter to meter again you are converting from lower level to higher value correct so to convert that divide by values okay divide Newton to kilonewton 10 days to 3 again millimeter to meter 10 days to 3 but it is millimeter square so it is 10 raised to 3 raised to square so how much you are getting 10 raised to 3 into 2 it is 10 raised to 6 this is 10 raised to 3 10 raised to 6 10 raised to 3 it is 10 raised to 9 this is 10 raised to 11 so you will be getting 10 raised to 11 divided by 10 raised to 9 correct 3 2 is a 6 6 plus 3 it is 9 so again this is gone you will be left with 2 so 30 into 10 raised to 2 now it is kilonewton meter square standard okay nothing but it is 3000 kilonewton meter square the ea value okay now you can substitute this so any value you got so that divided by ei so this so that's so many radians now you can check it slope will be 0 0.5 6 0.23 point something delta so when you divide so it will be again point something okay so this slope and deflection will be very 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 small okay so this is the way how you are going to uh, calculate angst modulus and moment of inertia the product in standard units okay so let us stop it here so we'll solve few more uh, problems in next video okay thank you let us continue with uh, solving the problems on cantilever beam so now if udl is acting on the cantilever beam how to go ahead with that so, okay let us consider a problem a cantilever beam subjected to udl so let us consider general type of loading w kilonewton per meter span is l so what you are finding delta b and <coughs> theta b slope at b and deflection at b okay so how to go ahead with this so we are having two theorems according to moment area method so moment area theorem one so if i write moment area theorem one what it is saying the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve is equal to area of m by a diagram between those two points correct so if i draw the elastic curve for this at fixed end so no there is no deflection at free end there is maximum deflection so this is what this is delta b this delta b is nothing but in other notation t b a tangential deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a so what is the tangent at a so it is a straight line this line is a tangent at a if i draw tangent at b so this is point b so of on the elastic curve so if i draw tangent it will be something like this this angle is nothing but theta b so what you are finding correct slope the change in slope between two points which are the two points point a and point b so according to moment error theorem one what it is theta b minus theta a is equal to area of m by er diagram between a and b correct so you know it theta a is zero correct so the slope at a at the fixed end it will be zero always correct at the fixed end okay so this must be equal to area of m by a diagram between a and b so what is the m by a diagram for this so it is a cantilever beam so moment will be maximum at the fixed end so exactly at point b it is zero so moment is force into perpendicular distance so 
since it is UDL so here it is maximum what will be the variation if it is concentrated load acting at the free end so the variation was linear now here it is UDL if it is UDL so it is something like this a parabolic okay so this is like a parabolic so already I had given some standard bending moment diagram areas and uh, CZs in the first class correct so please go through that so if this is the case what is the maximum bending moment here so W into L into L by 2 so what is the total load whenever UDL is acting you will convert into a total load what is the total load W into L where it is acting exactly at the center from here to here it is L by 2 from here to here it is L by 2 W into L is the concentrated load from here to here the moment so that is W into L into L by 2 so nothing but W L square by 2 so this is W L square by 2 so it is M by E I diagram so it is W L square by 2 E I correct so the span is L that is base so CZ will be somewhere here so we want this perpendicular distance why you are finding the deflection at point B so you need to take moment about point B this is point A this is point B you need to take moment about point B so what is this so such type of figure if you see it it is 3 fourth of L from maximum it is 1 fourth of L so again this diagram is negative diagram so what is the sign of convention cut a section from rightwards if it is anti-clockwise positive you are taking a moment about this point this load is making clockwise since it is anti-clockwise positive this is making clockwise so it is negative okay so this is bending moment diagram so now you can write it so what is this you are finding slope at b nothing but theta b so this must be equal to what it is area between a and b what is the area of this figure so it is 1 by 3 into base into height wl square by 2 one third of base into height okay so this diagram is negative so it is ei correct wl square by 2i if you simplify this you will be getting w l cube divided by 6 e i that is theta b okay so again one more theorem that is moment area theorem 2 so what you are finding theta b nothing but t b a what is this t b a tangential deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a this is the tangent at a you are finding this from tangent at a so what is the deviation of this point b on the elastic curve that is delta b tba what it is it is nothing but moment of m by ei diagram between a and b and moment is taken about moment is taken about point P where the deflection is required correct so what is the area of this figure so one third of base into height W square by 2 i this is the area this is negative correct into perpendicular distance what is the perpendicular distance about B that is 3 fourth of L 3 fourth of L so if you simplify this so that is delta b sorry this is delta b so delta b is equal to minus w l raised to 4 divided by 8 e i 4 2 is 8 this 3 3 get cancels correct w l square into l into l w l raised to 4 okay so i hope this is clear so whenever if you come across a udl so the diagram will be parabolic the variation will be parabolic so keep it mind this so what is the area of this uh, such type of figure one third of base into height okay so let us stop it here so we'll solve one more problem